episode. I think we're going to be going through some Simpsons merchandise. I was watching the Simpsons theory. They just had a nice good video. Duffman timeline video. Kind of got me inspired to bust out my merch. Let's show, let's start with the... Uh, I think you should start with the DVDs and the VHSs. Some of these are classic, some of them are very old. Of course they came out with their VHS box sets. Oh, there goes one. So you got your volume one, you got some season two, season three episodes on there. Really nice to watch, but who the hell watches VHS videos anymore? Also got the Tree House of Horrors, which is nice. Double of the Christmas, the Simpsons Christmas, Christmas with the Simpsons. Kind of nice. I had both of those covers, different covers. And of course, you got the Simpsons Gone Wild, the Simpsons movie. Of course, we'll get back into that later. And some more VHSs here, which is kind of kind of cool. And of course, for the seasons, I only have season one to eleven. And like many of you, who probably have the similar DVD box sets, I've always been annoyed by having these little guys ruining your uh, consistent collection. But it's all part of the game. So I think we're going to get into the Simpsons movie right away here. Of course, that came out in 2007. I remember when they were promoting the movie, Every 7-Eleven in North America was selling big pink sprinkle-covered donuts, Buzz Cola cans, which I kept four of them here. I just figured out well, what the hell is the point of getting rid of them. Those, those are just way too cool to, to get rid of. So I kept those. Of course, through the promotion as well, they started putting out a lot more plush dolls and stuff like that. Of course, got your little... Door hanger, do not disturb, your Simpsons bag. This one, and the big Lisa one, which I do not have the stand or the, the cover for, came with the 100% official Simpsons merchandise badge, which is kind of cool. So you know you're getting authentic Simpsons merchandise, but I got another one in here for the Lisa. That's where it is. A couple little... Miniature action figures that come out of those uh, 25 cent dispensers. Along with a nice crusty doll. Can't go wrong with crusty. And a Quickie Mart employee's hat. Proprietor Apu Nahasapima Petalan. Open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. <laughs> Oh, that guy never works. Thank you, come again. Oh, yeah. Shoplifters will be executed. <laughs> I should be wearing this around more often. And, of course, I got some t-shirts here. Some oldies, some new ones. This one, that was my favorite. Wore this to school damn near every day. Now, this is a cool piece of merchandise. This is a photo mosaic puzzle, a thousand pieces. As you can see, each puzzle piece has pictures from each of the episodes that combine to make one whole scene, which I thought was incredibly cool to receive. I mean, they have other ones as well out there, and Robert Silvers is the guy who does these, so definitely check him out. And uh, if you are interested, they are a lot of fun. They really are. I mean, every little piece, it comes with its own little scenes inside. They're all broken up, color matched. It's really, really cool to sit there and piece it together. It makes it a lot more difficult than your traditional puzzles. Now, I used to live in the UK. Let's get down on the ground here nice and comfy. When I was living in the UK, they have these card collections known as Top Trumps. 
And I used to like buying these. They had stuff for Star Wars and all kinds of stuff. Marvel. But this is way back in 2005 to 2007. And they have a Treehouse of Horror based card collection system. And I, of course, uh, organized all their stats to be from the most powerful to the least powerful. Of course, Pirate Maggie, you have to be at the very end, but you were damn near the cutest one on here. Oh, which Maggie? I don't know which one's more adorable. <laughs> you got Trick or Treat Millhouse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Now, these were fun cards to go through. I mean, there's so many of them. King Kodos, Count Burns, Count Krusty, Nero Burns, Witch Patty, Witch Selma, Zombie Kearney, Flyboy Bart, Zombie Jimbo, Zombie Krusty. Right, this, the list goes on and on. Giant Homer, Nelson, Officer Lou the Fairy. <laughs> oh man, yeah, these were, these were something else. Yeah, these are really these are really cool to go through and collect and compare their stats and everything and get them all organized. Top Trumps is what they're called. A horror edition. And the case glows in the dark, so there you go. We have a card game of the Simpsons. I had lost the lid, unfortunately. But there's a nice trivia card game here from The Simpsons to test your true fan knowledge of the show. Something really cool. It comes with a nice little dice. You got Mo on one end, Chief Wiggum, Apu, Burns, Krusty, and you got Bart. Now, when I was about 12 or 13, I remember being in shop class and making this for my dad really cool project obviously it looks like garbage because I was just young but still a nice little attempt at making a homer plaque I thought it was pretty cool now last but not least I think we should get into the literature because I have a nice stack of literature the Bart book they had the Krusty book the Homer book stuff like this this gives you all the, uh, is, is Bart, Bart's bottom 40 pros and cons. I think he's got his top 40 in the front page. And his number one, my moral compass, Mr. Herschel Krastowski, a.k.a. Krusty the Clown. Skeleton keys, <laughs> so you can go into any abandoned building in Springfield. And you know, little explorer, guide to Springfield. Just any little bit of literature The Simpsons came out with is always entertaining. Now this is cool. My sister found this in a Goodwill. This is one of the original cartoon books by Matt Groening. Childhood is Hell. And God damn is he right. Yeah, a lot of cool little comics by Matt Groening here. Something a little more original. 1998. 1988. 1988 as well. It just goes on, man. It's lovely. Of course, you gotta love your Simpsons comic books. They are endless. Mad Magazine. That was a fun one to read. And cartoons with the Simpsons. How to draw. And it gives you drawing tutorials and how to do their styles. It's really incredible. I used to love going through this book and trying to recreate the Simpsons characters by hand. It's lovely that they give you all these proper tutorials and the tools you need. I can even see it right here, they kind of measure the height of the heads by eyeball size, which is really, really cool. How they kind of broke it down to a fine science for you, made it easy, simplified it into layman's terms. And they give you all the expressions and emotions that they have. 
the bending of the elbows and the way they curl their fingers. And like they explain here, the elbow curl right here from the earlier seasons wasn't so nice. And as their animation started to get better, they perfected their techniques. Just really cool how they did that for you. I believe this is off the back of Simpsons movie menu from somewhere. It looks like Burger King. Some more Simpsons comics. Can't go wrong with these. They're always a blast to look into and read. These ones though, these three right here, I also got when I was living in the UK out in the Kent area and we used to go to Sainsbury's all the time and I always used to see the new issue and bug my mom can I grab the new issue of the Simpsons and of course like she could not resist yeah I mean just awesome old and falling apart but I try to keep them in good condition the best of the Simpsons, another one I got from the UK. And finally, Treehouse of Horror book. Now this is one of my favorites. Some of the unique artwork they have in here. I mean just new drawings of stuff you've never seen before. Cool comics they have in here, different stories. Just extremely entertaining, especially when you got a whole day to kill. That seems to be all the merch I have for Simpsons. I thought I had more. I guess I was just fooling myself. But thanks for watching the video. I know it's kind of low budget. And I, I promise you, better videos are on the way. I just need to save up for better equipment. So be patient with me. I promise you'll get the videos you've all been waiting for. No worries. Let's take another... Ugh, God damn it, I'm getting fat. Let's take another good wide shot angle of all the merch. Yeah, I just need to find somewhere to display all of this. Otherwise, it sits in a bin. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Have yourself a great day. Oh, hey there. Dirty Rancher here. I just want to say thanks for watching the video. It really makes my day to see those views go up. So remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day.